Now we have eight Californian yeah. sea lions altogether. Some of them have just started to join us already. The one to look out for though is Buster. Now Buster is our breeding bull. He weighs in at 50 stone and is 8 foot in length. So he is the largest of all the sea lions and one of the more vocal sea lions as well. So we don't see him, you will most definitely hear him at some point. He will be around and he'll join us up in the feeding area at the top end of the lake. Now another one to look out for is our baby sea lion. She's only 11 weeks old. She should be up on the top end of the lake on the sea lion beach with mum at the moment. So do just keep your eyes peeled for her as we head on up. gorillas alive anywhere in the world. He's 52 years old, which considering that a gorilla would be lucky to reach 20 in the wild, it's an absolutely fantastic age for gorilla <laughs> captivity. In fact, he is the oldest gorilla in the UK. And uh, here he is just around this side of the side. Now you're going to get a quick view of him because he has this decided to move. He will be wandering. Oh no, he might sit down. We'll wait to see what he wants to do. He's very fussy about the boats that he likes. If there's somebody on board that he takes a dislike to, he will just wander off. If you are very lucky, may just hang around long enough for you all to get a nice picture of him. Uh, he is one of the most impressive silverbacks you will ever see. He's pretty much covered in grey hairs. Now, a lot of them due to his age, but he does have his silverback markings, which shows that he is a dominant individual. He, in fact, he is the only individual over there at the moment. His partner, Samba, sadly passed away in her sleep a few years ago due to old age. And because of his age, it would be unfair to put any other gorillas with him. It would stress him out too much and could shorten his life. But he is perfectly happy on his own. You will find silverbacks on the road in the wild, so it's not unnatural for them. And he does get great enjoyment out of his keepers. Like one of his keepers has worked with him for well over 20 years. They have a fantastic relationship. And when he wants to, he'll sit and watch the boats go past as well. But there are plenty of places for him to hide away if he doesn't want to be seen. He's just sat there keeping an eye on us as we go past. Now over on the right hand side, we have one of Africa and Lolly's most dangerous animals. These are in fact our two female Ugandan hippos. Now there is one out at the moment. I'm hoping they're both together. Unless they've had a bit of an argument and they may have separated. Just the smooth grey lump just underneath the trees there. Now these girls will spend almost 18 hours of the day in the water. Coming out onto the big grazing paddock that you see up there in the evening time to feed on the grasses. And they are herbivores, however, in the wild they kill almost 400 people a year. Not to eat them, just because they're incredibly territorial. And they won't hesitate to chase you at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. Chew you into tiny little pieces, but spit you back out again. And Spot and Sonia. Of all the gorillas that we keep. 
The other three have, are in the back enclosure at the moment because they've not been fully integrated with Bulas. Just Bulas is a very dominant individual. He isn't actually related to the other three boys that we have. Um, so he will take a bit longer to introduce to them. But you'll see there is a wire grill in the fence at the back there, so they can't interact. And once the body language is okay, then they will be introduced together. But for the time being, he is on his own. He's perfectly happy though. As you see, he's uh, busy watching us go past. And there's plenty of things for him to do over there. He will use all the grassy sweets and the bark off the trees. Um, a little bit of food. But always happy for Gorilla He's spent just relaxing, just doing what he's doing just now. And the other half has been foraging for a place. So definitely not for the end. Yeah. Uh, no. I don't ask what to do. I think seals are there. Sea lions, what they are. We are an absolutely lovely view of Bulas there. Just as we head on out in towards the sea lion feeding area. Now, this is your chance to feed the sea lion should you wish. It is one pound per pop of fish. If you would like to feed the sea lions, just please make sure that you throw the fish clear from the side of the boat. Don't tease the sea lions because they can jump and they will bite. So if you would like to feed the sea lions, it is one kind of ball from and see me now. <laughs>
So we are just making our way back in towards the key now. Just a few last remaining fish cups to come back to the front once you have finished with them. But does anybody have any questions before we finish up our journey for today? Any questions at all? No, that's fine. One last thing to mention, they're just hanging on the prairie dog fence are some coloured donation pots. Now they're there for a charity called Tusk, and Tusk does some fantastic work out in Africa with a lot of endangered African wildlife. So if you do have any small changes, the pots are there for that purpose. They are only there if you'd like to, please don't feel you have to. But we would like to thank you all for coming on board the Lady Lenka with us this afternoon. You've had a fantastic view of all, all of our animals. Please enjoy the rest of your day here at Lonely Safari Park, and if you could all remain in your seats until all the ropes and ramps have been attached, myself and John will tell you when it's nice and safe to leave. Thank you very much.